my name is Brian Thomas, and I'm the science writer at the Institute for Creation Research. Before that, I was a professor at a local university. And before that, I was a science teacher, and um, my background is in biochemistry. My research lately has been with uh, fossils and looking at the biochemistry in fossils, which very few people expected to ever find. Because we know that um, biochemicals fall apart, and they fall apart on the order of thousands or hundreds of thousands of years under ideal conditions. Um, yet we find that these biochemicals, including like proteins and even DNA, uh, in, in dinosaur bones, in um, extinct marine reptile skin, and organs, and we've found blood vessels, blood cells, hemoglobin, collagen, elastin, keratin, all these different proteins. Um, and so it's an amazing time to be uh, studying fossils and the biochemistry that's in fossils. And so my, um, my interest in that, of course, is the, the fact that we would never expect these biochemicals to be there if the fossils are as old as is claimed. They're claimed to be millions of years old, but the biochemicals can only last hundreds of thousands of years under ideal, perfect conditions. The hadrosaur, which is standing, posing beside me, uh, is a juvenile about five years old. Uh, this was from the, the Two Medicine Formation, uh, which extends from the Rocky Mountains up um, into Canada. And uh, it's a dark colored formation because of the manganese and other minerals that are in it. Other hadrosaur fossils have been found, of course, in other rock formations. For example, the Hell Creek Formation. And uh, that's got the world's best. And in the Hell Creek Formation, we found not we, ICR, but we secular researchers found um, original tissue, blood vessels in hadrosaur bones from the Hell Creek Formation. Just an exciting time to uh, study these things.